assemble ourselves into your house and worship you. Lord, I thank you. And I can proudly proclaim that it is well with my soul. Lord, I pray that if there's someone here that doesn't know you as their personal Savior, Lord, I pray that this morning would be the time, this would be the day that they give their heart and their life over to you. No one looking around, every head bowed and every eye closed for just a moment. Maybe you're here this morning, maybe you're a Christian, maybe you're just facing something in your life you never thought you'd have to deal with. Maybe you're dealing with a financial problem. Maybe you're dealing with a marital issue. Folks, I don't know what you're facing this morning. Frankly, it's none of my business what you're facing. But what is my business is that we bear each other's burdens. We carry each other's loads. We're all part of the family of God. It doesn't matter if we're Baptist, Church of God, Methodist, Wesleyan. It makes no difference. We're all part of the family. Maybe you're here this morning, you just need some encouragement. Maybe you came in today with the weight of the world on your shoulders. And you just want us to remember you in our prayers. Just slip up your hand right where you're at and say, pray for me. Just going through something. Thank you. Hands up all the building. Folks, He never promised us that this life would be easy. But He did promise us that He would never leave us. And He would never forsake us. I'm just dumb enough to believe that. Maybe you're here this morning, you don't know the Savior we've been singing about. Maybe you felt the tugging of the Holy Spirit on your heart this morning that you know things are not well with your soul. That you know that you need to make a decision for Him this morning. Maybe you've been in church all your life. Maybe you haven't been. That's irrelevant. There's a lot of people that know how to play church. I'm not asking you if, if you know a lot about it. You can quote Scripture backwards and forwards and not know the Savior. No one looking around. I'm not going to embarrass you. I promise you have my word. But if you're here this morning and you don't know 100% for sure that your sins are covered by the blood, that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that you know if you were to die this very moment where you would spend eternity. If you cannot say 100% sure that heaven is your home and that Jesus Christ lives within you, you want us to pray for you. Just slip up your hand right where you're at and say, just pray for me. Father, we love you. We're so unworthy to even call on your name through the sacrifice that was paid at Calvary. You made us worthy. Lord, I pray for each hand that was raised this morning that just facing something in their life. Lord, I pray that you'll just give them the strength and the courage to press on and to, that they will place their faith and their trust in you. Lord, I pray for the hand that was raised this morning. Lord, I pray in just a moment as we extend an invitation, I pray that there's someone here that needs to do business with you. And I pray that they will do that this morning. What a great time. A church full and a celebration time to celebrate one more soul coming home. Father, we love you. We're careful to give you all the praise because you alone are worthy of it all. For I ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. We're going to sing briefly and then they can pastor or whomever's going to close can close as they see fit. But I don't think it's good to come into the house of the Lord, even on a special Sunday like this, without giving you an opportunity to respond. If you have a need this morning, you come. Just as I
decision this morning. I urge you don't leave this place. We're going to be here for a while. Talk to one of the staff members of the church. You can even talk to Pastor Dan over here, even though he's not here anymore. I know, I know these folks well enough to know that they have a heart for souls. And if you need to make a decision this morning, don't leave this place. I, I implore you to not leave this place. Have you enjoyed Mercy's well this morning? I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. We are so thankful and blessed for each person who's been here and has been a part of everything that we've done this weekend. And we look forward to the work that is to be done. And there was something I forgot to do when we had the little intermission time. And now that you're all standing, this will be harder, but maybe you can raise your hand. Um, we just wanted to acknowledge all of the people who were here 30 years ago when they started meeting in this little house over in the neighborhood. You could just raise up your hand if you are one of the original people that. All right. <laughs> well, we are so blessed by your continued ministry here at the Rock Crusher Church. This morning, I've asked Pastor Michael to come and close us as we head out for lunch. If you would be so kind as to let um, our older people go, we've got Phyllis here in her wheelchair, and we've got plenty of food to eat, and um, Mercy's Well has their table out there, but please uh, enjoy the fellowship today, and, and make sure you are able to talk to some of those people who were here, and thank Pearl and her family for uh, getting this place started. Thank you. Thank you, and thank all of you that put so much work into this weekend. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much for your vision that you had for this congregation. Yeah, you've, uh, you and uh, your husband um, have meant so much, I know, to this church for the past 30 years. And those of you that were here um, from the very beginning, the five or six hands that went up, thank you so much. And for those of you that are here now, God put you here for a purpose. You all are the sister carpenters to the future generations. And so we want to extend to you an invitation um, to do more for God, not for Rock Crusher Church, because this isn't what it's about. It's always about Him, right? But hold the hand of the person next to you, if you would. If you're visiting with us, we want to extend to you an invitation to worship with us here at Rock Crusher Next Church, uh, next Sunday, right here at this church. And uh, we're excited that you're here with us and honored that you chose to worship with us this morning and hope for the next 30 years you'll worship with us here. Let's pray. God, we just come to you this morning and we're, we just thank you so much. We're so blessed to be here together as a part of your bride, as a part of your church. And God, for that, we thank you. We thank you for those who came before us, who had the vision to lead us right here to this day in 2013. And God, we just pray a special blessing upon them for their sacrifices, so many that they've given along the way for these 30 years. But God, we look towards the past and are thankful for the past, but we look to the future in anticipation of what you're going to do right here in Citrus County through us, through Rock Crusher Church. God, I just pray that you would lead us and guide us, and always on the front of our mind it would be, it's always about you. It's not about me. It's not about a doctrine. It's not about the songs we sing. It's not about what we do as a church. It's about you. And if we ever lose sight of that, we've lost track of the great commission that you've called us. So I pray that you would just burn that on our mind. Lord, I just pray you'd be with us for the rest of the day as we go forward from here. Let us have a great time of fellowship. I just pray a special blessing upon Mercy's Well. We're thankful for their ministry, and I pray that you would bless them abundantly for the sacrifices that they make to serve you. Bless those who prepared the food for us. We're th we thank you for that and give you the praise and the glory and look forward to serving you for the next 30 years and beyond at this church. In Jesus.